Hi people, it's Archivist here, coming at you with yet another Top 5. The Sega Dreamcast is often thought of as a bit of a tragedy. When the console originally released, it had amazing graphical potential, great games, and some unique features that helped it to stand out from the crowd. However, its potential was quickly squandered by the release of the PlayStation 2, which signalled an end to Sega's console making days. To honour this short-lived but much-loved console, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the best games that came out for the system, at least the ones that I had the privilege of playing. Number 5 Dreamcast games tended to have great sequels and Crazy Taxi was no exception. Crazy Taxi 2 built on the unique concept of its predecessor by adding improved visuals and slight enhancements to gameplay. One key improvement I remember was a larger viewing distance, which was certainly very helpful. The success of Crazy Taxi 2 came from its mass market appeal and gameplay depth. The basic premise was extremely simple, but mastering it took time. Actually getting good at Crazy Taxi 2 was a very satisfying experience. Number 4 Power Stone 2 is a game that clearly has a lot in common in terms of design philosophy with the Nintendo 64 title Super Smash Bros, but that isn't to say it's a complete clone. There are obvious similarities such as the ability to pick up weapons mid-battle and play with up to four people at once, but the fully 3D arenas gave it a true point of distinction. Power Stone 2 was less about building up big combos, which is typical of fighting games, and more about knowing where to go in the environment. The arenas themselves were incredibly diverse, with some set on giant airships and others in the barren deserts. What's more is that Power Stone 2 was one of the best looking fighters for any system upon its release. Number 3 Sonic Adventure was one of the first great 3D adventure games. Considering the massive rivalry between Sega and Nintendo at the time, many comparisons were drawn between it and Super Mario 64. Sonic Adventure featured the option to play as several characters from the Sonic world, although I can't say I was a massive fan of Big the Cat. What stands out to me most even now though was the game's villain known as Chaos. Chaos was a creature that grew and changed each time it consumed a Chaos Emerald. The final showdown with its final form was an especially memorable moment. Number 2 Often referred to as the crowning jewel of the Dreamcast era, Shenmue was a game that was way ahead of its time, both in terms of graphics and revolutionary gameplay. It's actually quite difficult to describe exactly what Shenmue is. In some ways it's an RPG as you level up your combat skills, in other ways it's a 3D adventure game due to the large amount of exploring involved, it could even be considered a fighting game because of its solid 3D fighting game engine. Perhaps the reason for Shenmue's brilliance is that it was one of the first truly great hybrid games. It's number one. If there's one thing better than Sonic Adventure, then it's Sonic Adventure 2. Although the sequel decided to ditch the open world system, it did in some ways allow the game to flow better. It was a change that I initially disliked, but eventually ended up liking. There were lots of great aspects in Adventure 2, but it was the extreme speed and excellent platforming in the Hedgehog stages that I remember with the greatest fondness. I also liked Sonic's emo counterpart Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow was very similar to Sonic in terms of appearance and abilities, but totally different when it came to his personality. These were my top 5 Dreamcast games, but what are yours? Maybe you have fun memories of Skies of Arcadia, or perhaps Rayman 2 The Great Escape? Let me know in the comments below. As always people, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.